The Past Times is brought to you by Prairie Nights Casino and Resort. Cheta Wankia, Chief Thunderhawk. This is The Past Times, your news from the edge of history. <laughs> Cheta Wankia, Chief Thunderhawk. Though little is written about Chief Thunderhawk, it is known that as a young man he was a companion of Sitting Bull and a warrior of some prominence. Since the Hunkpapa were a small band compared to the Oglala, Thunderhawk was an important figure in Hunkpapa and Lakota affairs. He was a chief of his band, a position which he retained all his adult life. His band followed the bison as much as the same as the rest of the Lakota. During the 1870s, Thunderhawk was a dominant leader of the Reservation Hunkpapa Lakota people at the Grand River Agency. In May 1875, Thunderhawk was invited by General Custer to visit Fort Abraham Lincoln and participate in efforts to put aside long-standing feuds between the Dakota Lakota people and the three affiliated tribes of Fort Berthold, the Arikara, Hidatsa, and Mandan. On May 25, 1875, Thunderhawk signed the Treaty of Fort Abraham Lincoln in association with other prominent agency leaders of the Hunkpapa Lakota and the Yangtone Dakota. After the Dawes Allotment Act of 1877, his band of 28 lodges moved to the Moreau River. Thunderhawk and Mrs. Picot Gelpin are credited with saving the life of Father Pierre-Jean de Smet in the 1860s when conflict broke out on the Northern Plains. Thunderhawk, along with several other prominent Lakota leaders, represented the Hunkpapa at the Sioux Indian Delegation in Washington, D.C. in October 1888. Thunderhawk is buried near Thunderhawk, South Dakota, south of Morriston, South Dakota. This information was put together by Mr. Robert Gipp and expanded upon by Dakota Goodhouse. This information can also be found on the website standingrocktourism.com. <laughs>